here we are with another video of uh, MCQs preparation for PPSC exams uh, with reference to zoology. Most of the questions and diagrams they, they have been taken from Miller and Harley zoology. So it can be used as a reference book. Let's move to the question number one. Formation of plasma membrane within cytoplasm uh, leading to its subsections. It was basically the hypothesis of syncytium, which led to the multicellularity in living organisms. So, right option will be Charlie. That formation of cell membrane within compartments of the cell led to the formation of a multicellular initial mass that was a bilateral ancestor that changed into radial animals as well. So, Charlie is the right option in this case. Number two. Which of the following character is not related to the porifera? Porifera are symmetry, asymmetrical. They don't have any tissues. Filter feeders and blastula stages there. But having tissues is uh, not a right or a related option here. So beta must be the answer. As you can see, some of the features of the phylum porifera, they clearly write over here that there are no tissues or organs in this phylum. Spicules often form intricate lattice in class active cinerida. Right option is beta. And uh, other classes, calcarea, remus spongy, they also have uh, like spicules, but they don't form any intricate pattern in, the, in these classes. These are some images of the spicules taken through electron uh, microscope. Pinacocytes possess all of the following features except pinacocytes, the line outer surface of the sponge. Yes, they do. Uh, they may be mildly contractile and they may be modified to form certain exchangeable porocyte cells, but they cannot change the shape of sponge is a wrong statement here because they can play a role in changing shape of the sponge as well. Polar cells, they are basically equinocytes because uh, they possess some collar structures, as you can see in this diagram. And they are due to this presence of these collar cells. Sponges, ancestors are considered as conoflagellates uh, due to possession of these cells because conoflagellates are also having similar cells in their structure even at the mature stages. So let's move to the question number six. Cues are formed from amoeboid cells in case of sponges, which modify to form spicules. Question number seven. Least common body form of the sponge is basically a scone is the simplest as well as least common body form found in the sponges. Other forms are uh, comparatively more common, such as cycon and leucon. Glass sponges are also known as a uh, venous flower basket and they belong to hexaclinalida. So beta is the right option. An extensively branched canal system is found, as you have seen in the previous diagram as well. The extensively branched system is found in case of leucon body forms or leucon sponges. Quarocytes perform digestion of food vacuole within the with the help of lysosomes as well as pH changes. So delta is the right option. Quarocytes can perform digestion with lysosomes as well as pH changes. Sponges can feed in all of the following ways, except sponges cannot perform photosynthesis. Otherwise, they are primarily filter feeding and can perform phagocytosis as well as absorption. Principal nitrogenous waste of the sponge is ammonia as they're living in the abundant water supply. So beta. Sponge seal is absent in uh, leucon body forms because they have completely branched uh, systems of a system which led to the absence of sponge seal cavity. Euplectyl or venous flower basket, it's hexaclinida or also known as glass sponge. Light inhibits constriction of the porocytes and hence it increases opening of the porocytes leading to the more influx of water. So that's why during the day, in the presence of light sponges, they filter more water as compared to the uh, absence of light. 
egg cells are formed by chronocytes and amoeboid cells and sponges and sperm cells are formed by. Basically, egg cells can be formed by chronocytes as well as amoeboid cells. But sperm cells are actually modified chronocytes. So right option will be Charlie. Number 17, gemmules in the sponges can survive. They can survive freezing as well as drying. So right option will be delta. Number 18, larval forms are found in leukocelenia, are basically parent timula larva, which is found in uh, leukocelenia while and uh, clathrina sponges. While in cyclone sponges, the common larval form is amphiblastula. Planula is the most common larval form found in cnidarians. As you can see in this life cycle diagram, that planula has been shown as a larval form, which settle down to form the prolia structures. The primary method to obtain nutrients, as we have discussed in the previous question as well, that primarily sponges feed by filter feeding, and they show also absorption as well. But Charlie is the right option here. The skeletal structure found in sponges for the support and protection, they are the spicules, so beta. Number 22, the major function of amoebocytes is the transport of nutrients in case of sponges. They carry absorb nutrients and transport them to the other body cells as well. So Charlie is the right answer. Clionia and spongil are the members of, uh, sorry, they are the members of Calcaria and the first sponge in green color is basically spongila and second one in the yellow you can see here is Clarina. Symmetry found in phylum Nideria is the radial symmetry, beta. And radial symmetry in aquatic environment is helpful for sedentary animals which are non-motile because they have receptor distribution on all sides and any threat or any nutrient coming from any site can be detected easily then. Number 26, one of the following features does not belong to Nideria. Nideria, they possess gelatinous mesoglia, gastrovascular cavity, and diploblastic organization. But possession of centralized nervous system was first observed in phylum platyhelminthes. So Charlie is the right answer. Number 27, Characteristic stinging cells of cylindrates or cnidarians are known as nidocytes. While nematocysts, they are the internal structures which are involved in stinging. They are not the cells. Cell is referred as nidocyte. So beta. Sea anemones and corals, they belong to the class Anthozoa. Charlie. It's an image of a sea anemone over here. Types of the nematocysts in Nidarians, which have been described by zoologists so far, they are uh, just over 30. So delta is the right option. Number 30, presence of mesentries is the common feature of class Anthozoa, such as sea anemones. They form certain mesentries, as you can see here. Largest and most complex type of nematocyst out of around about 30 nematocysts is stenostelle which are relatively larger as well as uh, complex as compared to other types. Uritelli, Desmonine, uh, and Isoriza are some of the other types shown in this diagram. An immature nematocyst is basically a nidoblast. So Charlie, Ubelia and Physelia are the members of class Skyphozoa. So, Sorry, Abelia and Physelia, they are the members of class Hydrozoa, and some jellyfishes, they are the members of class Skyphozoa. Alpha is the right option over here. The usual type of nematocyst present in one Nidarian, they are usually six or more. So, beta. Jellyfishes are the representatives of the class Skyphozoa, class of jellyfishes. And a polyp shows all of the following features except polyps uh, usually do not produce through sexual reproduction, except in Hydra. They have reproducing polyps which can reproduce via sexual reproduction as well. But in uh, case of all other Nidarians, 
no sexual reproduction have been observed usually in the polyp stage. The functions of the gastrovascular cavity includes all of the following except it is not involved in the development of embryo. So Charlie, otherwise exchange of gases, nutrients and waste takes place through gastrovascular cavity of the cnidarians. The cells which help in maintenance of hydrostatic skeleton are basically epithelial muscular cells which are involved in the contraction of body and development of internal hydrostatic pressure. Location of nerve cells of diffused nervous system in Nidarian is just below the epidermis. So right option is delta as you can see in this diagram as well that ganglion neurons they are found just beneath epidermis of the hydra. Which of the following is the free swimming larval form of Nidarians? Nidarians have free swimming larval form that is known as planula. So right option will be beta. Number 41. All of the following features distinguish hydrozones from the other Nidarians except. Uh, actually, hydrozone polyps, they have epidermal nematocysts. Same time, gastrodermal, uh, gastrodermal nematocysts are absent in the hydrozones polyps. They have epidermal gametes, they have no amoeboid cells in the mesoglia, but beta option, this feature is not found in case of all hydrozones polyps. So, number 42 a reproductive polyp which uh, produces medusae budding is known as gonozoid. So right option is Charlie. Gastrozoid are the feeding polyps and defense and offense polyps are the dactylozoids, stinging polyps. The unusual feature of Hydra is the sexual reproduction in polyp stage, otherwise polyps. They are asexually reproducing organisms or zoites. How many gastric pouches are found in the stomach of Aurelia or jellyfish? Jellyfish possesses four gastric pouches in the stomach. As you can see in this diagram, there are four gastric pouches uh, in the stomach of Aurelia or jellyfish. And how many Gropelia are the sensory structures are the features of Aurelia in the same diagram. You can observe eight Gropelial structures. Uh, one of the Gropelium has been enlarged over here. And these are the sensory lapids or Gropelial lapids which surround each Gropelium. So eight is the right option. Miniature of the young Medusae are known as Epiri. So, Charlie, these are the miniature medusae, smaller medusae present in some classes such as Kaifuzwa or the jellyfishes. The polyps, which are usually attached to the substratum via pedal disc, they belong to Anthozoa, such as corals or sea anemones. These are the presence of pedal disc here. And thread like a contia, they're found in the same class Anthozoa. You can see in the same diagram, these are thread like hanging structures. Echontia. Sea walnuts are um, also known as comb jellies and they belong to phylum Tenophora. These are the comb jellies of phylum Tenophora and coloblast are the cells found in the same phylum. Here are the coloblasts shown in this diagram. So thank you so much. I think it will help in the review of this chapter and a quick review of this chapter as well. Thank you for listening. I love this.